fox eyes are becoming more and more popular. Some people either want it surgically or people try different kinds of makeup hacks to get that lift. But understand that fox eye look is a trend. Don't fall for a trend. Don't judge your beauty based on a current trend. But what I want to draw your attention to is that if your eyes are aging, you would notice that because your eye muscles are weakening the area, not just eye muscles, but multiple areas around your eyes are creating that droop in your eye. So today I am focusing on this particular part that can help you create that lift. It will help you get rid of that droop that you're noticing here. You will notice that your hooded part here will start to show sign of reduction, which means you will notice less puffiness in your upper eye area that creates a little bit more lid space and lifts your eyes so let's begin with today's exercises that will help you achieve the cat eye look i'm parmita katkar your face yoga coach hit that subscribe button and check out my face yoga playlist and let's begin First eye exercise or your eye movement. Close your eyes and roll your eyeballs up. This is the eye where I'm going to perform the actual exercise. I'm going to keep my eye open on this side so you know what's happening underneath this eye. For the first few repetitions and then I'll show you how to do it on both the eyes. So close your eyes, hold it down with your fingers. Now roll your eyeballs up and blink. So this is not the actual exercise. This is what's happening inside. So your eyes are shut. It's like eyes are closed and then you're blinking. So blink, blink, blink while your eyes are shut. So this is how the actual exercise looks. Close your eyes, eyeballs roll up and blink. So what I mean by closing your eyes and blinking is you are adding that extra resistance on your lids to stretch down beyond what they are used to stretching. So usually when you blink, you just do this but when your eyes are shut and then you press them harder to blink this whole area the hooded area the muscles that are weakening that's making this whole area puffy starts to develop that strength and lift not just these muscles but also the muscles in this delicate upper lid area continue these blinks for about one minute the timer is on keep going with me Notice there is no pulling or tugging. I'm not pulling my lids down. It's only your eyeball that has rolled up and blink. Make sure when you're holding your lid, you're not pulling or tugging your skin, causing more folds and wrinkles on your upper lid. Tell me in the comments below if you could see my lids move. And if you too could feel the resistance while you were performing this exercise with me. This is great for tired eyes too. You'll notice when you get tired, when your muscles start to weaken, your eyes drop. Your muscles start to relax, they give up and they start to droop. So this will start to rejuvenate your eye area. By the way, I have an amazing eye exercise package linked below. Do check it out. It is priced very reasonably so you guys can have access to it for not one or two days, but for 90 days so that you can practice all of these eye exercises with me every day for 90 days till you start noticing a difference in your eyes. So the next movement is focused more on opening up this area and reduce the crow's feet, the wrinkles that you notice on the sides that again over a period of time start to do this so first place your three fingers here make sure you have some oil or eye cream on your fingertips and then pull up just give me about 10 strokes of these so with this movement you're opening up this whole eye area and wrinkling out your crow's feet once you've done about 10 to 15 strokes I want you to hold this part down like stretch this whole part out I don't want this wrinkled up like this stretch it out press it down it's almost like your finger anchors it pull your fingers back up 
So this is a more diagonal movement to massage and lift your face up because you want that lift like that cat eye lift, right? So stretch and pull. Give me again about 10 to 15 strokes and you would perform the exact same thing on the other side too. So down and pull diagonally back up. I see a lot of times people completely get confused. They try to hold it with this hand and pull it with the right hand on the right side. It will be a lot more difficult. It is much simpler when you hold on the right side, you hold it down with the right finger. Take your left hand around from behind your head and then pull it up and cover the whole area all the way from here going up. Doing this on a regular basis will start to open up and lift your whole eye area on this part, on the crow's feet and on the sides of your eyes. Moving on to the third exercise or the third movement for your eyes. So notice in the first one, it was more vertical movement to strengthen this whole area, the central area. The second one was the outer area to lift the outer corners of your eyes and your brow ends. The third one is going to focus more on this muscle diagonally because in order to lift this, you need to have strong muscle strength here. So join me and I'll give you more details and more instruction about this particular movement and its benefits as we move along. So hold this, open this up, right? Now roll your eyeball all the way diagonally down. Notice when you roll both your eyeballs diagonally down in this direction, you will feel the intensity of this exercise in completely two different areas on both your eyes. So if your focus right now is your right eye, you will notice it works on the right eye muscle right here, but on the left eye, it works on the inner corners here, which is great because sometimes you notice you start developing that droop here and your inner eyes start to droop as well. So this is a great exercise for this and this part of your eyes. Right, so stretch your outer corners. Look down diagonally to one side and blink. And I want a little bit more pressure in blink. It's not just this, it's this. Make sure you don't do this. Mm -mm. It's just this, just a little extra stretch. Your upper eyelids are working a little more harder than they usually do while blinking. So give me about 20 blinks. Notice when you're doing this, don't land up doing this. We don't want any new folds and creases on your face. Now move your eyeballs to the right. Now this time, you'll start to feel it more on the outer corners up here, the droopy part right underneath your eyebrow arch, right here. This is where you'll start to feel it. On your right eye, you'll start to feel on the inner corner. I find it a lot more soothing and the rhythm of these exercises a lot better when you have some music in the background. Tell me in the comments below if you two find it better to perform with some music, like especially if I'm at a signal, when I know that I have to wait for a couple of minutes, I quickly get my fingers up and ready and blink, 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 blink. Radio is on, the music is all there, and that's how I like to perform it. I think there's better rhythm in general. That's what I do while working out on my whole body, then why not do the same for your face? Your facial muscles, just like the muscles in your body, can firm up, they can tone, they can stay lifted if you give them the right workout. But remember, your facial muscles are all connected to one another, unlike your body. Like if you're working out on your arms, on your biceps, you're not going to tone your calves, right? But that's not the same case with your face. If you're working out on your eyes, there are multiple muscles involved. Your under eye, sides, upper lid, eyebrows, forehead. There are so many muscles that are involved. So it's very important to get an exercise correctly. That's why I load up my videos with a ton of instructions. Apart from this, I strongly believe that there is a complete transformation in your face when you perform all these exercises step by step as a routine, as an everyday workout for your face. Just like you would trust a physical fitness instructor in a gym, I am that physical fitness instructor for your face. So reach out to me if you want to work with me and I can personalize your specific face yoga for you. The massage techniques and the works, it is an amazing process. A lot of women and men do this with me. So all the instruction to work with me are in the description below. My website is parmitakatkar.com. There is a very simple form, just fill it out and my team will be there to answer. They'll also schedule a call with you if you want to speak to any of them. 
It's a complimentary call, so you get all your answers and that's how simple it is to schedule a session with me. Like I said, my face yoga playlist is linked below. Watch my all my other face yoga videos. They're very helpful. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook fan page, TikTok and Amazon storefront because there are always some fun, simple tips and exercises that I keep posting on all these platforms that will benefit you. Try these exercises for the next few days and make sure you take your picture before you start these exercises because people send me their photos and the transformation is phenomenal. I can't wait to see your results and your experience goes in the comments below. If you have been doing my face yoga exercises, then do please write down here and tell me what your experience has been. This is Parmita Katkar, your face yoga coach, signing off for today. I will see you next week. Until then, you know what to do. Blush with me.